again. Sophie's just asked me out. Is she? Don't look so surprised. Oh, she told me a kiss. I was trying to do you a favor. I don't need any favors. I'll start dating again when I'm good and ready. I just want you to be happy. That was never going to happen with me. Yeah, well, only because you wouldn't let it. There's no point bringing it up again. You're right to end things. It's easy all around. <sighs> Not so easy that I just move on to the next gay in the village. I know it's been a tough day and harder on everyone. Steph, oh yeah, Luke's mum and dad, but... Hey, you're allowed to cry for him too. No. No. You can't be the one to make me feel better. We can still be mates. You know we can't. This is so messed up. Every time I look at you in Zidane, it hurts. It physically hurts. I can't be around you pretending everything's okay. Just stay away from me. You're making a mistake. Oh, Zidane, it wasn't them. It wasn't any of them. How do you know? I said, how do you know? Because it was me. My wife. And she's not getting besides half the time. She can't stand the sight of you. It doesn't change what happened. And what did happen? It was just a kiss at first. I didn't think it would go any further. But we couldn't help it. We fell in love. How many times did you sleep with her? Answer me! I don't know. Five or six? But it's over now! What, well, you expect me to believe that? Oh, hello. I was just having a chat with your girlfriend. Hey, you know something funny? My wife's a lesbian and I didn't have a clue. How stupid am I, eh? You both knew, didn't you? Well, I hope you all had a good laugh. Nobody's laughing, see. Why not? I mean, if these two being in love in some sort of joke, then I don't know what is. See? See, wait! You shouldn't have told him. I had to. See what you've got to say out here. I know this is hard for you to believe. But I didn't want this to happen. Or expect it. I've never felt like this about another woman before, and I don't think I will ever again. But I know it was wrong. And it wasn't fair on you. But it's over now, I swear. What? What do you want? What's mine? Your wedding ring. See, please. Take it off. Or I will. <laughs> You're not my wife anymore. You're nothing to me from now, do you understand? You okay? Do I look okay? Leanne has just told me everything about you and Zidane. I see. You may well look ashamed. Like I did it on purpose. I know you must hate me, but I'm doing all I can to make it right. I'll be out of your life as soon as I can. And you think this grubby little deal he struck up with your parents is going to make it right? Hush, hush money? To protect the good name of the family? Well, the, how can it be good after that? It's too late now. It's what's going to happen. Not if I have anything to do with it. It's me who's caused all of this. It doesn't mean you have to roll over and let others use you as a bargaining chip. I can't believe the nerve of your parents. I'm doing this for Z, not them. I've hurt him more than I can bear to think about. And you think this is the answer? I don't know. But whatever I can do to help him through it. Denying your true feelings to save face in the so-called community is not the answer. Besides, if you are gay, then you are gay 
And that's the end of it. I don't know why I am anymore. Well, you'll look back on this deal one day and regret it. Right now, I don't care. I know you want the best for me, but we're too far down the line. A contract's been drawn up, and however grubby you find it, it's happening. 